What's going on? My name is Dan Corrigan. I'm here with Keen Ramps with another tutorial. And today the trick that we're going to work on is front side crooked grind to fakie on transition. The reason that I'm doing it to fakie and not to regular is to regular. It's actually a lot harder to fakie. You can just kind of fall out. And this is one of those uh, sort of fizzazzy tricks that looks like it's a real thing. I mean, it is a real trick, but it looks like it's way harder than it actually is. I think front crook is one of those tricks that's kind of held on a pedestal. It's sort of like the hot trick to do right now. People are just now experimenting with like the bigger rails and really sitting on the grinds. And what's cool about front crook on transition is you don't need to be able to front crook on a ledge or a flat bar or anything. All you really need to be able to do is aim your front truck and put your body weight in the right spot, pinch on your toe and just stand there. It's relatively simple. Uh, so I'm gonna go show you on the quarter pipe where you want your body to be. So we're gonna pretend that my hands are my feet and that my fingertips are the tips of my toes. And if you're goofy footed, you can just switch it around. Uh, so if my toes are pointing this way and I'm rolling up to the quarter pipe, all you need to do is on your toe side pocket, put pressure as you're carving up. And the second you feel this click, this right here, this right there, right when you get into that willy grind, you just put all of your weight on this toe. And what you do is you wanna make this wheel pinch against this board as best as possible because if you're kind of light footing it it kind of raises the chances of uh just kind of rolling out on the deck or slipping in the front nose you really want to like lock it in there like that really put your body weight on it you're really standing up on your tippy toe now on front crooks on ledges you might see someone's body position as sort of like looking over the shoulder sort of like uh, looking the direction that they're going really leaning into it but for fakie you're kind of just squared up and you're just kind of like leaning like you're gonna fall back into fakie because that's literally what you're gonna do. Uh, to practice this trick, the tricks you wanna be able to do is definitely no stall fakie. You probably wanna be able to drop in switch pretty comfortably and uh, have a pretty good front side grind because even though uh, you're grinding on your front truck and it's not a back truck front side 5.0, uh, getting comfortable with the motion of being on the coping going in that direction, I definitely recommend being able to front 5.0 even though it seems to have nothing to do with the front crook. It's just all about comfort. So the first thing you want to do, as you understand the fundamentals of where you want to pinch, where you want to lean, is uh, just try to stall one. I actually stalled one for the very first time a couple seconds ago, and then Haley, the person who's filming this, learned it first try. It took me two tries. She, uh, I've she's... done it before. What? I've done it before. Oh, so, oh, so she's done it before, so it's not impressive at all. But it did take me like, it was first try in a game of skate, so. Oh, you thought it before. Last time you did it was first try. And 270 out of it. Listen so it. it's no really one, no, not that hard. we're here to learn front crooks, not for you to brag about your front crook I'm ability. just saying anyone can learn it. Because <laughs> she's a girl. Yeah. Okay, so what you want to do first is definitely be able to stall your nose stalls comfortably to where you can kind of sit on it. And then all I'm going to do is roll up with my weight on my front nose and do a little baby nolly kick turn and press down on my toe side. Sure would be nice if I just do it right now. Yeah, that's all it is. Notice how my truck kind of pinches. <laughs> you like, that you like readjusted during you see it. How, see how cool my foot was though? Yeah. That was style. Uh, I don't know if I would be able to grind one on a quarter pipe this mellow. You probably want a quarter pipe three foot and up with a little bit of steepness or like average steepness. See what happens if I try to grind it. Oh yeah. That was like a nose grind, that was weird. Uh, ignore that try, that's not exactly how you want to do it. But that angle that I took, this sort of diagonal, as if I'm gonna do a front 5-0 angle is what you definitely want. When you're doing the front crook, a lot of grind tricks when it comes to transition, has pretty much two options. You're either leaning on the deck or you're leaning on the ramp. This is a trick where you lean in the ramp. Because if you lean too much on the deck with this front crook, it's gonna pull you to the deck. Or you're gonna dig in too hard and then you're gonna stop. But if I'm leaning way back here and I stop drooling all over my skateboard, uh, it's gonna push the grind a lot easier. So you're gonna find when you're leaning over transition where it's a little bit scarier, uh, it's gonna grind way easier. It's gonna be way more forgiving and in the long run, actually more safe. Because being too much on the deck can cause weird, I don't know, some goofy falls. So we're gonna go over to the bigger quarter pipe. Uh, I think this one's probably like four foot, four and a half. It's a nine foot vert ramp. And I'm gonna do a couple front crooks to fakie and you're gonna see how I do it. Let's just skate on, let's just walk on over there right now. Let's just keep this one take. Let's make this video one take so I don't have to do any editing. Let's keep it engaging until I get over there. Get over there faster so I can talk less. Oh my God, this is so difficult. Here I come. Really big. Hot. Watch me 
fucking chill. I knew it. I knew I was going to fall. Uh, the reason right. I fell is because I didn't put my nose down. It's very important to drag your nose on this trick. Uh, you're pretty much the only part of your nose that's dragging, though, is this top uh, top left corner. Actually, kind of it's the middle center of your tail, now that I look at it, or center of your nose. I was going to say, is that why you want to be over the ramp rather than the deck? Because so you don't have your nose drag as much? Cause... You know, you want your nose to drag. You don't want to balance it at all. I feel like this. That's... No, I know, but you don't want to drag your nose on the deck. You want to drag Correct. it on the You want to drag it coping? on the coping. Yeah, because coping is less friction than the deck. Unless you have like a deck made out of the plastic material, which in that case, you should probably stop skating that mini-ram because you're going to die. Let's see if I can do it right now. Still 110. <laughs> when I grind it more than a foot. So I haven't even really done this today. That's really, I did one before we started filming. Yeah, you just lean into it, you push through it, and you fall to fakie. Now, I'm a little bit more comfortable, so when I come out the fakie, I do give it a little, a little sprawling to fakie, but you can literally just gnarly kick turn in. You can literally just be here, and then just, and you just roll away. When I'm doing this trick though, and my body weight's over the ramp, when I come back, I don't lean towards the top of the ramp, I lean more towards it. So when I'm coming back in, I'm leaning this way. Cause no one ever falls forward on transition. Like if you're doing a trick and you're coming in, you're not gonna fall this way. You're definitely gonna fall that way. So count on that and overcompensate by leaning into the ramp. Across the board though, that's like any ramp trick. Let's uh, film a couple in slow-mo. And there you have it. This trick is just 100% body weight and commitment. Uh, you don't really need to be able to do too many tricks to understand the fundamentals of where your body weight needs to be to get into this trick. I will say it is a little scary the first time you try to commit to fakie, um, but I remember the first time that I actually tried to ride away from this trick, I did it. Um, a bees here. Uh, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, I'd recommend probably a three foot quarter pipe and up. You could do it on like a two foot quarter pipe or even smaller if you wax it pretty good, but I prefer a bigger quarter pipe. It's just, uh, when it's sharper like that with a steeper transition, it's just like less friction because your wheels won't be dragging on the bottom of the ramp and the top of the ramp. But uh, in Keen Ramps, we do offer uh, quarter pipes and mini ramps. So if you uh, don't feel like skating in public at your local skate park, or maybe you don't even have a local skate park that has a decent quarter pipe for you to learn this one or a decent mini ramp, uh, you can purchase both mini ramps and quarter pipes of all different shapes and sizes at keenramps.com. If I had to make a recommendation, I would say our three foot by eight foot quarter pipe or a mini ramp that is eight foot wide, which is the smallest width that we offer end up. Uh, but probably three foot is probably your best bet. Um, and that's really all you need is like that size quarter pipe and our transition is uh, super consistent. So you're gonna be able to pinch that grind uh, probably a little bit better than this quarter pipe. This quarter pipe is good, but it honestly was a little bit mellow for how big it is. That's my excuse for why I didn't do it first try and I'm sticking to it. Um, but yeah, until next time, visit keenramps.com for all your skateboard ramp needs.